theocentric gospel versus an anthropocentric gospel. A God-centered gospel where he glorifies himself perfectly versus a man-centered gospel where God is but a player. Man is the central, uh, the central person here, and it's man that determines whether it's going to succeed or not. There is more that we have to do to be saved. We have to believe. We have to be baptized. We have to confess faith in Christ. We have to persevere. We, 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 the treadmill of human accomplishment. Oh, no, no, but, it's, but it's, it's all by grace because God makes it available. The Judaizers could have said that. Oh, circumcision. I mean, we can make a great argument of circumcision from the Old Testament, and it's all by grace. No. <clears throat> Why do I believe? Because the faith that I have that perseveres is the divine gift of God. I can't glory in it. I can't look at someone else and say, Ah, oh, see, he, he, didn't, he didn't persevere. He, he, my faith was better than him. Is that what we're going to be doing in heaven? No. There is nothing more that we have to do to be saved because we are the objects of Christ's perfect work of salvation. Yes, I do believe. But I've been enabled to believe and that faith that I have is the gift of God and He keeps me in it and He perseveres in saving me and that's perfectly consistent with the exhortation of Scripture to me to believe, repent, and persevere. Because I recognize that outside of the Spirit of God working within my life, I will not even desire these. But you see, the vast difference between recognizing the reality of the warning passages and the exhortation passages and what Mr. Staples does is the difference between a God-centered reading of the text and a man-centered reading of the text. Mr. Staples has a God who cannot save anyone outside of their cooperation. He has a God who can't save anyone. I have a God who saves everyone who chooses to save. He does so perfectly. That's the difference between a God-centered gospel and a man-centered gospel.